Hey guys, so I just wanted to give an update on my shoulder surgery. It's been, I think, almost four weeks now um, since I've had surgery. And as you can tell, I am not wearing a sling. Um, it's feeling a lot better. I have been doing some movements with it for the past few weeks after going to physio. I do have physio again this afternoon, so I will give an update on that. But basically, I've just been using a pulley, which you can see on my door um, behind me, and just doing two different types of movements, which I'll show you in a minute. But basically, I'm just lifting my arm forward with the pulley and then off to the side. If I try to do it without the pulley, I can't get it as high. Um, when I first started, uh, after the two week period, I went to physio, and when I first started, I could barely lift my arm in front of me. Now I can get it about here. And for reference, it should be up here, but I can get it to about here before it starts to hurt. And then off to the side, I could barely get it a few inches away from me. Um, but now I can get it a pretty good distance, which I'm very um, happy about. But again, for reference, <laughs> I should be able to basically go the whole way up. Um, so there's a long ways to go. So as for the pain, I started physio about two weeks after the surgery and I had pretty much weaned myself off of all the pain medication by then. There have been uh, just a few nights in between um, where it was aching when I fell asleep and it just probably was from too much use. Um, so I would take an Advil or Tylenol on those nights. I have been put off work for I think 14 to 16 weeks. I don't know if that's a typical amount of time, so that's a, basically about three to four months. Another exercise um, that the physiotherapist said that I can do is uh, table slides. So basically anytime that I'm sitting, I can kind of um, slide my arm across the table to stretch it out. And same thing with on a wall. I can put my arm on a wall and kind of crawl up the wall to see um, kind of how much stretch I can get in it. So basically as soon as I start to feel pain, I'm supposed to um, stop. The bandages are fully off and there's only two little incisions here that you can see. There's one here and one here. Um, when I first took the bandages off a few weeks ago, uh, it made me really nervous because I just kept getting like this sensation that the wound was opening, but it was all in my head and it wasn't opening, but I just kept feeling like, oh my gosh, like every time I turned a certain way that in my head it was like popping open. <laughs> But I had my friend with me when I took them off and um, she's a nurse and I was kind of freaking out in my head, but she's like, no, it looks great. Um, don't worry about it. There's also stitching on the inside and I can kind of feel them too. I don't know if those disintegrate or not, but I can kind of feel little bumps where there is um, some stitching. I was expecting when I took the bandages off the first time, I was expecting two like gaping holes or three gaping holes. So to see those tiny little incisions uh, was a huge relief because he did do an arthroscopic surgery, which is much less invasive. Um, so that was really good. I still don't quite know exactly what he did in my shoulder. Um, I wasn't able to meet with him after the surgery and I do a follow-up next month. So I'm gonna find out for sure what it is that he did because I'm not sure yet if there's any like anchors in my bone. Um, I don't know what exactly he repaired in there. We had skipped the MRI because there was like a year waiting list on top of the basically six years I had already kind of waited for the surgery to happen with three different x-rays and follow-ups and steroid injections. So uh, I was <laughs> I was not um, excited about the idea of waiting a whole other year just to see if there was any soft tissue damage. Um, so he rushed that, decided not to do the MRI and we did the surgery. He did give me a little sheet um, that kind of gives me a time range of when I'll be able to do certain things. And basically from what I've read, uh, I'm just gonna be doing a lot of range of motion exercises um, for the first six months. And then from six to 12 months post-surgery, I can start doing some weight training and normal activities. So before I head out to my physio appointment, I will show you the two uh, exercises that I've been doing on the pulley. And I do those just once a day, uh, 15 times each.
so I am just getting back from the physiotherapist and he had me hooked up to, I believe it's called an interferential current machine. And basically that is to relieve pain and to speed up the self healing process. It has like a, I like it. It feels really nice. It's just like a current that pulses. So he gave me two more uh, little exercises to do instead of crawling out with my hand on a table, I'm supposed to do it sideways on a table um, and just sort of stretch that out. And for the second exercise, I'm just gonna use a broomstick to show you um, what I'll be doing. So basically I just hold that broomstick in front of me and keeping my elbows really nice and tight next to my body, I'm going to push in one direction and then push in the other direction. So basically he said that with all of these little exercises, I will get a full rotation um, in that shoulder and I'm just going to continue to do those exercises until I have full mobility. So that's probably the last update I'm going to give on the surgery because I know that it's gonna take a while to get that shoulder fully moving, but I'm really excited to um, get back into strength training next year. I have not been able to work out this arm in such a long time and I'm surprised that I have any muscle left in there. <laughs> I also haven't been able to do a lot of the yoga that I like to do. That's one of my favorite um, exercises now and a lot of those poses uh, use your shoulders and your arms so but if you're interested to know how things progress um, then definitely subscribe and follow along. I'll be giving probably updates um, in my vlogs. I am heading to Boston in a few days and I'm so excited about it. I had to kind of figure out what I was gonna do about um, luggage because I can't use the overhead luggage unless I am able to do it one-handed. So I'm just bringing a little bag with me and I'm gonna be spending the day um, in Boston and going to a concert that night at the TD Garden. And then I'm also doing a bus tour to Martha's Vineyard and I'm gonna vlog that and I'm very excited about it. I have been wanting to go there for such a long time and check out all of the gingerbread little cottages that they have. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a colorful day.